Well, over the last 30 years, the, the changes to emergency services has grown. You know, we're no longer a emergency, the technology involved in emergency services, the threat or the risk. You know, over 30 years, we uh, have developed so many new programs to respond to, to risk, but the risks themselves have grown. You know, cybersecurity wasn't even a word uh, 30 years ago. We uh, didn't have computers. We didn't understand the risk and threats from, from the cyber world. Hazardous materials programs and uh, the environmental issues have certainly changed and in many ways gotten so much better because our regulations have, have caused us to reduce some of the risk. Uh, we still have the, the threat of natural disasters. We still look at those, but the technology for storm warning and advanced warning has grown so much that it's just so so great to, to look at where that's come. And and then, then, of course, the training and education and the type of equipment that we have available to us now was unheard of 30 years ago. So it's just an, an all-round totally change in the environment of emergency services. And of course we've had some major incidents. We've had the, uh, the bus wreck on I-77 in the, the mid-80s. Hurricane Hugo, of course, changed our outlook on and our vulnerabilities. It showed us that, hey, we are vulnerable, and it was probably the first devastating event that our generation had ever seen. And of course September the 11th made drastic changes to uh, took our innocence away and probably other than the the generation that lived through Pearl Harbor in World War II, uh, we lived with the idea that uh, we were safe and nothing outside could bother us. So, so those are just some of the major events and then lots and lots of events throughout the, the last 30 some years. Well, as I retire, I'm looking forward to being able to uh, travel and do things while my health's still good. I don't want to, to work till I, I'm not healthy enough to enjoy life and just get out with my wife and, and do things and enjoy the community and travel South Carolina. I have a plan to, to travel throughout South Carolina and learn more about our state and learn more about things that I've heard about and heard from other counties and go see what they have to offer and, uh, and just enjoy life.